All right, coming up next, it's a UFC heavyweight showdown. Well, you can argue this is the most influential martial artist of all time, the great Bruce Lee, making his walk to the octagon here tonight, champ. Everybody wants to be Bruce Lee. They say they want to be like Mike. If you're a fighter, you want it to be like Bruce Lee. You want it to be that fast. You want it to be that charismatic. You want it to have an ability to just freeze your opponents. Your speed, your movement, just the diversity in the attacks that you can give your opponents would just confuse people. I mean, I watched him beat a seven-foot Kareem Abdul-Jabbar to stay undefeated. Right. If you could do that, you could do anything. I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once, but I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times, Bruce Lee, in a nutshell. Just so wise. Well, there is no denying this man's striking credentials. Prevailing wisdom is he's going to try to keep this fight standing tonight. He has to. You know, this is what got him to the show. It was being able to use the hands to set up the kicks. We all talk about the high-level boxing background of this young man. But as he's developed, he's developed great knees. Yeah. He's developed great timing, great counter skills, and also the beautiful right high kick. The right high kick is something he hides very well as he follows with a jab, right hand, left hook. High kick comes over the top, and he can put you to sleep. No doubt about it. He will try to put on a striking clinic once again here tonight. Or till the tape for this, our main event of the evening. Two years apart, these two fighters, with some differences in height, but the same reach. To get us started with the official introductions, we go inside to the veteran voice of the Octagon. Here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the Octagon, Eve Loving. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City, it's time! Five rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting at Los Angeles, California, Bruce the Dragon Lee. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet ten inches tall, weighing in at 265 pounds. And Tara! Okay, protect yourself at all time, will be my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now, go back to your It is Madison Square Garden, and I think a lot of people remember when Conor McGregor and Eddie Alvarez ushered in this building as far as the UFC is concerned back in 2016. I mean, that place was insane when Conor McGregor became the UFC's double champion. From outside of the arena, he built up to the fight to end the arena when Conor became the king. This was a great moment in the world's greatest arena. Look, the best fights in history have happened here. And on that night, Conor McGregor etched his name in stone. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Protect yourself. You gotta protect yourself. Much improved defensively as he blocks the shot. Nice control in that power fight. In a massive elbow lands from the Pretty good job staying patient as he lands the counter strike there. Strong work by Lee. What a punch. Nice 
leg kick lands. Not there. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. He is all about that left kick to the body. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Spinning back fist. Just missed with the left there. Nice connection with a the punch there. It's hard to recall time in the past that his boxing looked this sharp. He's never looked this good. Way to mix it up. Unbelievable elbow land. Counter left. Lee's lower jaw now starting to show signs of swelling. Timing his shots pretty well here early, DC. He's doing a great job of mixing things up, keeping busy, being very active. <laughs> Unable to land with that punch. Spinning back fist. He didn't telegraph that one at all. Nice combination there by Lee. Back and forth we go. Oh, collar tie. Doing a nice job elevating with those knees. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. That's a good knee to the body. Oh, man, this guy kicks like a mule. So hard, he kicks so hard every time you see him. Try to establish that jab. He's back in good position. This is where he has done a ton of good work here. Punch, punch, punch to the head from the clinch. Lands a big elbow there. Oh, nice high kick. Oh, he landed that kick to the outside of the lead leg there, DC. He is chopping up that leg. They say chop down the tree. You beat your opponent by slowing it down first with those nice outside leg kicks. Starting to do some really sick. Oh! Body shot now, but it's turned back by Lee. Holding on to him here, not really doing too much, perhaps just looking to recover. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? He blocks the punch. Oh, big head kick lands. Look at him dig that body shot right up to his opponent's third. And both guys really throwing with authority. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Goes to the body there. Right hook to the head block. And they separate. Driving the back of the head. Pulling forward on the head and then land those beautiful punches. Really has got his opponent on those. Nice punch there by Lee. Oh, another strike lands to the liver here. He buckled him with that exact shot earlier in the fight. And he feels like he can still target that area to great effect. Big kick. Big right hook coming. It's blocked. He loaded up that right hand, too. Oh, big left hand there. What a round it was, and how about that flying Superman punch at the end of the round? Not a lot of fighters will try it. He did, he executed. And it worked, right? No discouragement from his opponent to make him not try it. Why not try it? It's working, so why not try it again? If his opponent isn't careful, he will get knocked out and be on a highlight reel for the rest of the time. Round two underway. Nice punch lands over the top. Oh, he might be out. Man! Throwing haymakers out of the exchange. Oh! That one was thrown to end 
the fight. Yeah. <laughs> Look at how he turned his hip over when he throws that kick. Oh, continuing to work the body to great effect. Oh, he's hurt. He's hurt a little. All right, so a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be, and if you do that, most times... An elbow! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish his fight. Lee goes for the clinch here. Looks like he's trying to recover. He was stunned a little bit earlier. Let's see if he can get a respite here. I mean, he's cutting them down to size with these beautiful leg kicks. Punch over the top. Oh. Sneaky head kick. He needs to start with... Oh! Huge right hand! Well, he's up, but he is hurt. Oh! Big elbow there. Lands with the kick there. Whoa! Under three minutes now to go in round two. All right, we'll see how he chooses to defend here. Well, he's staying pretty effective here, fighting off of his back. Nice strike landed there by the bottom by Lee. Both fighters get up now. Oh! And just like that, the fight is over! He got it! What a performance! Pinpoint strike to end this fight, it landed flush. I'm not even sure the opponent wholly saw it coming, and before he could recover, the referee was in to stop the fight. So a huge knockout victory for that fighter here tonight. All right, let's take a look back at the replay. It ends up a knockout, but this was really a striking clinic from the moment they touched him. I mean, a competitive fight. That one guy finally found the shot that ended the fight. But both of these warriors displayed a ton of heart one guy got the finish, but neither guy should be disappointed in their performance. Now we go inside the octagon. Bruce Buffer with the official Andrew decision. Has called a stop to this contest at two minutes, 22 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by knockout and Well, we congratulate him on a huge knockout here tonight. He'll probably keep that smile while he's sleeping tonight after what he was able to produce here. He's going to be smiling for a really long time. When you get a knockout like that, not only do you get the win, you also most times walk away with a $50,000 bonus check.